Praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords, the God of all flesh, the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the great I am, the I am that I am, almighty God, the sovereign God, the God uh, that is the self-existed God. No one created him, nor no one made him. He created himself. He came into existence by his own divine authority and power and dominion. In his name I have come to you this morning to declare the word of the Lord, the word of salvation, the word that never passes away. Jesus said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word will by no means pass away. Uh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life of the light of man and the light shineth into the darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the bible declares in the book of psalm 89 verse 11 that forever O lord thy word is settled in heaven this morning uh, ah this is pastor samuel from house of prayer for all nations ministry may the word of the lord the word of hope the word of life the word of faith the word of transformation the word of reviver may it settle in your life and may it settle in every predicament and every problems that you are going through and may the word bring you the antidote and the solution to whatever you are going through in the name of jesus hallelujah thanks be to god once again for giving us the gift of life and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. The Bible says that he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. For the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus came that we will be restored and have abundant life in all things that pertains to life and godliness. And so this morning I trust God that God by his word will speak to our hearts expressly through the power of the Holy Spirit and I trust God that his word will be released into our hearts and we will be exalted in every area of our lives in Jesus mighty name hallelujah praise be to God forevermore and so this morning by the grace of God I continue the message that I've been preaching from the beginning of this month called the power of divine visitation and today I subtitle the message, Walking in Holiness and Purity Releases Divine Visitation. Walking in Holiness and Purity Releases the Power of Divine Visitation. Hallelujah. And we can see that in the book of Hebrews, chapter num um, number 12, reading from the verse number 14. Praise be to God forevermore. Let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God of all flesh, this morning we thank you for the grace and the privilege that you have given us to come at your feet to hear your word. Heavenly Father, release the power and the anointing of your word that breaks yokes, that edifies, that exalts, that motivates, that empowers, that revives, that, that heals and sets the captives free. Let your word come in simplicity and understanding. To bless the lives of your people, I pray this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hebrews chapter 12, the verse number 14. Koda brande shehete Libranda kusa ataya kinde librusaya. In the name of Jesus. Hebrews chapter number 12, the verse number 14. The Bible says, by Paul the Apostle, he was edifying 
the people of Israel. He was edifying the people of God. And in Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14, Paul admonishing God's people saying, Follow peace with all men and holiness, for without which no man shall see the Lord. Hallelujah. I'll read it again. Follow peace with all men and holiness, for without which no man shall see the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the power and the authority of his word. Hallelujah. Shakida Brondo Saya. Walking in divine holiness and purity releases the power of divine visitation. Paul was speaking and admonishing God's people and the Holy Spirit is speaking to us expressly this morning that we should follow peace with all men. And when we follow peace with all men in holiness, which is our reasonable service, that by so doing, no man shall see God. When we follow peace with all men and in holiness, we invite God to come into our situations. When we follow peace with all men and we walk in holiness and purity, it releases the power of God. It unlocks God's divine visitation. It unlocks the heaven to release the favor of God, the blessings of God, the power of God upon our lives in every area of our lives that pertains to life and godliness. This morning, I pray for you uh, that may the spirit of peace, may the spirit of holiness, may the spirit of righteousness, may the spirit of purity, uh, may it come upon you now in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are going through, receive the anointing of peace. Receive the anointing of holiness. Receive the anointing of righteousness. Receive the anointing of purity to come upon you in the name of Jesus. In this dispensation that we find ourselves in, God is looking for men and women. God is looking for radical people. People who are connected to hear his voice, to walk in the obedience of God, to walk in the integrity of the word of God. And I pray for you and I that if we will come to this place uh, of obedience with God and with peace with all men, uh, we uh, will have divine visitations in every area of our lives. Visitations in the work of our hands, visitation in our health, visitations in our businesses, visitations in our marriages, visitations in every area of our life that pertains to life and godliness. I pray for you and I that God will empower us by his Holy Spirit that we will have peace with all men and walk in holiness and righteousness and purity for it is our reasonable service as believers it is our reasonable duty our responsibility for us to walk in this will of god for god to open the heavens for us to encounter his divine visitation over our lives and over our destinies kadosh kapahadias i pray that may the god of heaven help you i pray that may the god of heaven assist you through the power of the holy spirit that you will walk in his will in his perfect will hallelujah the bible says in the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 8 that blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see god you see when we have a heart of purity yeah God opens the heavens and we have encounters with God in these beatitudes that Jesus was speaking. He said, blessed are the pure in heart. It means that those that walk in purity, those that walk in righteousness, those that walk in holiness, uh, they are the ones uh, that will see God. Uh, they are the ones uh, that will have divine visitations and divine encounters. I pray for you and I that in this season, uh, we will align ourselves uh, with the will of God, with the will of heaven, and we will hear the oracles of heaven uh, uh, that will release uh, uh, the blessings and the favor that God is releasing over his people in the name of Jesus.
May the Lord bless you. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May this word catapult you uh, to come to the place of provoking God and walking in holiness and purity, which will release the divine visitation of the Lord over our lives and destinies in every area of our lives that pertains to life and godliness. The Lord God Almighty bless you. Share this word and spread this word, propagate this word, that this word will be a spiritual impartation and a blessing to as many people that receive it through the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord bless you a Jesus mighty name. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the power of your word. Thank you for the audacity and the authority of your word that has been released this morning into our hearts and into our spirits. We pray that let your Holy Spirit press these words into our spirit, that we will walk in obedience to your word. That we will walk in holiness, righteousness, and impurity, which is our reasonable service. For the Bible declares in the book of Romans chapter 12 that be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds that we may prove what is that good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. I pray that Father, may your Holy Spirit help us. May your Holy Spirit empower us. May your Holy Spirit uh, help us in every area of our lives that we will walk in holiness and in righteousness to unlock your visitation over our lives i pray over your people that father you have shifted them from the place of unholiness and righteousness and impurity to the place of holiness righteousness and purity in the name of the lord jesus let the spirit of righteousness let the power of righteousness let the grace and the anointing of righteousness and holiness uh, be released over your people now in the name of Jesus, I pray this morning uh, for those that are disheartened, those that are depressed, those that are oppressed, those that are afflicted. I command the power of the Holy Spirit uh, to lose and to set your people free. Those that are in financial bondage, Father, liberate them, liberate them, set them free. Uh, I pray that this month, uh, your people will encounter miracles, signs and wonders. Let there be angelic visitations and angelic assistance and helps to the lives of your people. I pray that those that are bound, let them be loose. I decree by the eternal power of the blood of Jesus, let everyone that is bound, uh, that is hearing the sound of my voice, let them be loose by the power of the Holy Ghost. Release your people now. Those that are at being attacked, uh, oh Lord, uh, I pray that let the attacks of the enemy be broken by the power of the blood of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, I pray for businesses. Let businesses rise. Let businesses rise. I speak into many businesses uh, for restoration. Restoration. Divine restoration in the name of Jesus. Kodabria Sunde Lakuta Kasakaya. In the name of Jesus, I hear in the Holy Ghost. Uh, God is releasing favor divine favor over many businesses now in the name of jesus receive the favor of god in your business receive the favor of god in your health receive the favor of god uh, in the work of your hands receive the favor of god in every area of your life that pertains to life and godliness the lord bless you all beloved in the name of jesus come to this place of revelation knowledge in christ jesus knowing that when we come to the place of walking in holiness, purity, and righteousness, God opens the heavens and his visitation comes upon us in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. May the hand of the Lord come upon you and may you walk in divine miracles in this day in Jesus' mighty name. Shalom. Peace from God the Father. Hallelujah.